My name is Reshma Honap. I am a Google certified trainer, GEG Pune India leader, and a global GEG co-leader from Irvine, California in the United States. I've always come across teachers asking about how they can include lessons in science, technology, engineering, arts and math in their classroom. So here I am to answer this question, how can I infuse STEAM in my classroom? This also relates to creativity and innovation and differentiation in your Google Classroom. As a STEAM teacher, my primary focus in my teaching is to provide space for my students to explore inquiry-based learning approaches, experiment and experience before coming to a conclusion, ask questions, collaborate with peers, and be able to express themselves in multiple ways. As a lesson of force and equilibrium, I use Seesaw, which is a great example of a lever. I always like to start my lesson by putting up a thought-provoking question. So I click on create, add a question, and include a question something like, two people with different weights, one heavier than the other, sit on a seesaw. Which side of the weight will go down? Why and why not? Remember to assign it to all the students, select the point value, decide a due date, and pick a relevant topic for this question. Make sure that all students can reply to each other to continue communication. After this, I like to go and create an assignment. Give clear instructions on how to proceed. Here, I want my students to try the balance at activity first and then record their experiment and experience on Google Docs with pictures and videos. For the assignment, I used add the simulation activity from my Google Drive. You may also want them to be able to express their views through different modalities. You can go to create, add docs to record their data and pictures. I also want to provide them with a space for themselves to put their thesis on the Google Slides for collaboration. You can add the Google Slides and make sure that students can edit the file. You may also want to provide them with Google Drawings to create and see more innovative masterpieces. Do not forget to set the point value, assign it to all the students, select a preferred due date, which is usually the day of your class, and pick a relevant topic. Click on Assign and you're done. Now let us create an exit ticket for this particular research. Let's go to Create, go to Quiz Assignment, a new assignment and a blank quiz is created. Add the question something like which side of the seesaw went down, the one with the heavier weight or a lighter weight. What happened when you moved the heavier weight near the center of the seesaw? What, in your opinion, is the relationship between the distance of the object from the fulcrum and the mass of the object and the force applied? I want to then assign this quiz after my presentations. So I will remember to go to schedule my assignment. You can set the point value, a due date, and a relevant topic for the given quiz. Now we know how to use Google Classroom to infuse STEAM using creativity and differentiation. Remember, the more you let the students explore, the more they will learn and never forget. Thank you for watching the video.